You know, this new year, you might be working on getting physically fit, right? That's always, you know, one of our Hopefully big, still. Uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully still you haven't given up on it yet. Uh, also, did you know, though, it takes a similar process to get financially fit? Local financial professional John Vandergriff from Blue Ridge Wealth Planners joins us now to share some exercises to kind of flex your, our finances, if you will. So I kind of start, start walking us through this process. I know you got a handful of different things we need to be thinking about here. Yeah, I mean, the first step is the same either way. You want to yeah. set what that goal is, and just like we talk about smart money, here, your yep. goals need to be smart. You know, somebody says, I never want dumb goals, but it's an acronym for specific, measurable, yep. attainable, realistic, and timely. That way you're making those as specific as you can uh, so that you can say, okay, what is it that I want to do? But I also recommend having some checkpoints in there because sure. if you have a really big goal, right. you may not know where you're at necessarily. And so combining that with a routine makes it to where it becomes a whole lot more practical. You know, somebody said that if you show me your habits, I'll show you your future. And so if we have a good routine in place, it's going to make it to where if you don't have those times where you really want to put that money away or pay toward a debt, right. you almost get into a position where you don't even miss it. You know, and yeah. I'm like working out, you know, you get to a point where it gets really hard to wake up right. early. You know, yes. uh, if you start you know, taking money out for a 401k, yeah. you ask somebody that's been doing that for 20 years, I mean, they figured out how to make life work without it. So. Right. And like you said, sometimes it's just money you don't see, you don't miss it, it goes right in, you don't think about yeah, it. And, yeah. And so sometimes that's the best thing we can do is just almost make it automatic. That way we're in a position where, you know, that's going to help us make sure that that goal happens mm -hmm. just almost on autopilot. And so, you know, those are the first two. I also recommend making it fun. Sure. You know, as fun as it is to uh, take money out that you could spend now and put it towards your future, try to group other people into it. Mm -hmm. That way you've got some accountability. But also the last one is give yourself a reward. You know, if you're okay. going to set goals, uh, you know, and you can make those rewards not at the very end, but like we said, at those checkpoint times, you know, maybe put a little bit of money on the side to go out to eat. Maybe yeah. just have a spa day to celebrate what you're doing, but make it something that, you know, you're not getting into a position where you're hurting yourself, you're really getting a reward for doing the things that you set out to do. Sure, definitely. I like what you said about just making it attainable. Don't want to get outside or, or get frustrated at some point, and then you just, the whole thing just blows up in your face. So, yeah, too many yeah. times people set too lofty goals. Right. You want to make sure it's something that Starting from ground zero, you're able to do without yeah. quitting very easily. Exactly. Like you said, make it fun. Yeah. Appreciate it as For always. Sure.